Yo, 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 mic check one, two, one, two. Say hi, Baba. Hi. Yeah, but tell him not to see me here. Yeah, but please, don't put me in here. The good is sure I'll be like okay. But... It's, we're on live, actually. Anyway, <laughs> that's my Bob's. Yo, Sneha, Randa said salam. See, you can see. So, hello, yes, I made it. <laughs> I wanted to do a story time with my Baba. You guys have to convince him because he won't. I wanted to tell the story about my great, great, our ancestors. Baba, tell the story. Hi, Michael. We're getting ready to go on our trip. We're leaving Tuesday, but I got to go to the passport office tomorrow. Baba, tell the story. You know English. Baba. Yeah, but it's The story about our great, great. You know the story. You say it. Okay, so chime in if this, in case you guys haven't heard the story, I've told it on other, those of you who watch me religiously have heard it, but I'm going to tell it again. I love the story. My dad tells it the best, but he won't do it. So, great, 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 great grandmother, they lived, it. they li they were like tribes, right, Baba? I wish you would do it. Yeah, huh? no, you do it. You're doing good. Okay, so they lived like, you know, tribes with like tents and stuff, like the Bedouin, right? So basically, they had, you know, it was one bigger tribe that wanted to take over. Why'd they kill off our family? What was the reason behind that? I don't know exactly what the reason they want to take over. They just wanted to take over. Mm -hmm. So basically, one night they came through and just killed off our entire family. How many greats do you think? This was like five great, 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 great. A hundred years, two hundred? Oh, it's about a about hundred years. Hundred years. So... Hundred plus, a little more, something like that. So basically, they came in, took out the entire family. Left a little boy and a little girl. So, this prince of an... They called it a prince, but it was like a chief. You're talking about the chief. It was like a, the head. It was... Uh, you know, the... It's... At the son of the prince, the head of the tribe, they, at the time they used to call it prince. There wasn't no chief like Indian, just prince, not Arabian. Mm -hmm. It's prince. Okay. So, go ahead and finish. Mm, you're doing all right. <laughs> so anyway, so he took, you know, he took the, the kids in because he felt bad they were left with no family. So the girl got older and so did the boy. And the boy was a little khalas, like a little bit slow. And he used to what, like gather the, the chickens and the horses and stuff like that for the tribe? The cows. And... He was like a cowboy, you said. Yeah. He was like a cowboy. So one day, the head of the tribe, the prince, they called him, um, he, he was getting older, and the girl, my great-great-great-grandmother, she was about what, maybe 15, 16? Yeah, something like that. 15, 16. Back then, they married, you know, young. People didn't live that long. So he, he said, come here, you know, we need to talk. And she said, what, what's the matter? And he said, you know, I'm, I'm getting old and I want you to pick a husband. A lot of princes coming for her, to oh. pick, you know, ask for her, you know, to, to marry her. A lot of princes came and asked, <clears throat> you know, she was very beautiful and the daughter of a prince, even though it wasn't biological, like he raised her and stuff like that. So a lot, many princes came to ask for her hand. They said, you know, yalla ya binti, you gotta pick a husband. I'm not gonna be around forever to protect you. So she said, can I pick my husband? And he said, yeah, I'm not gonna force you to marry anybody. And she said, I wanna marry him. And she points to her cousin, okay? Which I know sounds gross, but remember this was back in the day and let's, let's keep it real. In the Middle East, some parts, they still do that. So, um, she said, I want to marry him. And he said, why? Like, he's, why him? He's slow and, you know, why, why would you pick him? And, and she said, because he has my last name. I want to rebuild the family. So, he allowed her to get married. So, she ended up, like, procreating tons of kids, you know. And she wanted... As soon as the boys, hey Jean, as soon as the boys got bigger, like Shabab, like in their what, teens, late teens, yeah. 
He said, you, you need to get married and you need to procreate, make babies, make babies. We need to rebuild the family. So now she's an old woman, right? Mm -hmm. Jump in, Dad. I like when you tell the story. No, go ahead. You're doing all right. So make babies, make babies. When, when they got older, and now she's an old lady. Okay, so she gathers them all. How many would you say there were? <coughs> like at this point? 50, 60. Maybe 50 or 60. Yeah. Children and grandchildren. Mm-hmm. So you, I wish you, he tells the story so good. He's shy though. So they finally like rebuilt the family. She says, "Come here, you know, gather around. We need to talk. We need to chit chat." She's like, "We're gonna avenge our family. You know, this family. They killed us off many years ago." <laughs> Michael says, "I like pops. He's a super cool guy." Michael, he's one of my, my clients, and he's a good friend of mine. Anyway, so, yeah. So, he's like, you know, we're going to avenge our family. These people killed us off, and we would have had a way bigger tribe, but they killed us many years ago, and we're going to avenge them. My ancestors in play. So, they're like, well, how are we going to do that? There's so many of them. How many of them do you think there were? I don't know. A lot. Okay, a lot more. So she, she gathered a bunch of sticks, right? She wrapped them together, and she said, I want the strongest boy to break this bunch. It was like a bushel of sticks all wrapped together. He said, I want the strongest one to try to break this. So they're all raising their hand, me, 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 I'm the strongest. So she passes it along, and they try to break it. They can't break it. Pass it to the next one. Hey, sketch one. <laughs> he said, your dad got that swagger. <laughs> they love you, Bob's. So they pass it around, right? And nobody could break the bushel of sticks. So she said, okay, untie it. So they untie it. And she goes, now break each one one by one. So one by one, they could break the sticks. It's very easy. It's just one at a time. So she's like, you get my point. We got to kill them off one by one. We're going to have a party. And we're going to invite them. But we're only going to let them in a little bit at a time. So they did, they, they had a party, and the whole family, the, the other tribe that they wanted to avenge was like standing outside waiting to come in. So they take them in like what, maybe two or three at a time? Four or five. Of them. Maybe four or five. Let them in one, you know, four or five <coughs> at a time, and as they came into the door, slit their throat, right? They slit their throat, break their neck. <coughs> slit their throat. Yeah. Slit their throat. Killed the whole fucking family and avenge the death of my family. Aw, KP. KP said, hey love, this is beautiful. I wish my father was still alive to talk about our history. You're gonna make me cry. I can't even think about that. But anyway, I'm sorry. God rest his soul, KP. So yeah, my ancestors, my great, 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 probably a hundred years back, so you figure- Little more. More than a hundred years. There's a lot of stories. Like my dad has story for days. Like our family, we got Israeli citizenship. Like I'm a dual citizen because our family wouldn't leave when they came. That that's the type of stock we come from. Like we're we're strong people. So anyway, they avenged the family and lived happily ever after. But the next story, okay. So the occupation started when 1947. 1948, they declared freedom, Israel State. Israel, Israel, Israel State in 1948. Uh-huh. And so, like, I never understood. A lot, of, a lot of Palestinians, they forced to leave, and a lot of Palestinians, they was afraid, and they left. Some of them went to Lebanon, some of them went to Syria, you Jordan. know, Jordan, whatever whatever they could get, you know. And my, I had an uncle which is he has high priests in uh, Lebanon, and he called my, he, you know, at the time they used, you know, like to send uh, over a uh, messenger. I don't know how the hell they did it at the time, but they told my father, leave everything, come you and my other brother, which is my uncle, and get anything you want here. So my father told him, no, this is my land. That's why if I'm going to live, I'm going to live here. If I'm going to die, I'm going to die in my land. So they stayed, and here we are. And they used to line up people on the walls to scare people 
to leave, they would line them up on the wall and just shoot them. Huh? <clears throat> you don't need to do say something like that. I'm just I'm saying. Thinking. You did some places, but... My dad doesn't want me to talk about that. Let me not. There's certain things you don't talk about. But, um, yeah, so my family refused to leave. And so they earned their citizenship. So that's why I'm able to go there and go to the West Bank if I want, go to the wherever. But my family on the West Bank, they can't come and go, right? Or Gaza or any of that. It's, 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 but you know, at, at the same time, it's kind of like, cause you got, you know, Hamas and you got all that. And, and, you know, there's a lot of bombs and shit. So I guess it's like, I don't know. Let's not talk about that. Uh, they said it's an honor to hear the stories. Oh, thank you. My dad's being shy. He doesn't really like to talk on camera. But we have a lot of stories, huh, Baba? You know them all. <laughs> I can repeat myself. Over that's there. that's why that's why we have powerful lineage. My father, he could speak something into existence. He hated my ex boyfriend. Hated him. Hated him with a passion. And he was gonna come up here. This is when I first moved up here. And my father kept saying, I hope that motherfucker never never ever comes, you know comes up here. I hope he goes to jail. I hope he goes to jail. I pray. You know, God answered my prayer. Yeah. And so he and just God. literally spoke that. The day he was supposed to come here, the fucking day he was supposed to get on the bus, he forgot his shoes. Okay. He had a suitcase with shoes in it. And he was on the bus and I was talking to him and he's like, I forgot my suitcase with the shoes. I was like, fuck the shoes. Just come up here. I have the feeling if you don't get on that bus right now, you're not going to make it up here. He's like, no, I'm not. It was like seven pairs of shoes. Like, I'm not leaving my shoes. He's like, I'm just going to change the ticket. So he gets off the bus, changes the ticket. And on the way back to go get his shoes, he gets pulled over and gets busted and got arrested. Because he, he had a warrant out for him. But, um, they, yeah. They caught him, and so. Thank God. <laughs> piece <Anyway>. of garbage. <laughs> you guys hear that? Called piece of garbage. Yes, he is. You know, a lot of people love that piece of shit. <laughs> my dad, God bless him. He's a powerful, powerful, powerful. That's where I get my power from. I wish I could get hold of him. I choke him to death. That piece of garbage. <laughs> dad. Believe me, as much as I hate this I never hated nobody. <laughs> you guys see where I get they're laughing, they're all laughing their asses off. It's true. <laughs> Why do you hate him so bad, Baba? Because he's an asshole. <laughs> he's, he's an asshole good person according to him. He's worse than that. Scumbag. I, I think he watches probably stalks my channel. I don't give a damn what he does, what he watch. I wish I see him. <laughs> Anyway, all right. Abu Abid. So. Ish. What is See, he called him Abu Abid. That's my my cousin's name is Abid. When the, the Arabs when they talk, it's like okay, it's weird. Like instead of calling him by his first name, they'll call him Abu Khalid because my brother his name is Khalid, like Khalid. So. They call him Abu Khalid, which means father of Khalid, right? It's just like tradition. So Abid, somebody made a comment about Arabs calling black people Abid, which means slave, which actually means black, okay? Abid is white and Abid is black, but Abid does mean slave. It's just like English. You have like there and there, like you have words that mean that you say the same, but it means the same thing. Or it means a different thing. Well, my cousin's name is, sorry, somebody kicked me off. So it's not like a, a racist or derogatory term. Just FYI. Anyway, you guys, I'm about to eat dinner with my dad. Just wanted to come on here and give you guys a quick story time and introduce you to my Baba. Look at Rocco. I love how he sits like that. 
Can you guys see him? He's so adorable. Anyway, I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that. <laughs> Next time, maybe my dad will open up a little bit more. I don't really like to bring him on camera that much, but... You know, who am I kidding? We're very well protected, and I wish a fucking bitch would. As simple as that. Anyway, love and light. Mwah. Toodles, bitch.